This is round three of the Scarlet Sorcerer, or more accurately, attempt three. I have failed in my quest twice now, one session per, one, one failure per session. Uh, so this time I'm starting because I, I really, really failed last time, like I ran out of time. So I've got a fresh character sheet uh, or um, solo sheet created. I'm going to start back on two, two, 226, the page 226, where the solo adventure begins, as if though I'm just starting. This is, forget the past two sessions, those never happened. This is a new attempt, alternate timeline. Okay, so 226, I've got the Druidic Temple up in the corner here, and then I've got a city, uh, Crown Guard, at X19, and I, I believe... X19 was just telling me that I could return here for healing. You are in Crown Guard, the city of your birth. Every time you return to the city, you can restore three endurance points for every day you stay. I mean, realistically, that's highly unlikely to happen. I just don't have the kind of time that I would need to just sit around and, and heal. And really, the, the thing about this adventure is that time is of the essence. That's the real resource I need to protect. And I did a pretty poor job of that in the past two attempts. So this time I'm going to do exactly what Silvarian said in his poem that I received, his, his missive, his dying wish. Burn the last to get the first. Now, in the previous session, I did determine, but ignored, the fact that that was uh, a reference to Ashwood Forest, or rather Ashwood. You burn the last wood to get the first. Ash. So he's clearly telling me go to Ashwood. Fly north. I mean, so he's really clearly telling me to go to Ashwood, because Ashwood is north of Crown Guard. Actually, it's a little northeast, but we won't quibble too much about that. And you will find a noble knight in Stronghold Dark. I have no idea what he's talking about there. Don't see a stronghold, but maybe once we fly up there, it'll become apparent. Yeah, so I mean, I think, unlike last time when I went to the Druidic Temple and listened to the Druids and letting them completely misguide me, I'm going to just do what my mentor told me to do. So I'm going to go north, which is 96. Uh, before I turn to that page, I will mark one day as transpired, uh, because I've traveled to 96. And let's see if this looks recognizable uh, in terms of our... Um, our larger world map. To me, this looks like I might have gone... I don't know if it's like a mile a page. It's probably a mile a page, I'm guessing. So I'm probably... I might be at Eagle Crag, or I might be just before Eagle Crag. No way to find out but to ask around, so I'll, I'll land my skyship and investigate at X5. The little town of Eagle Crag is full of soldiers preparing to march north for the city of Lemnos. Um, oh, for the Le city of Lemnos is under attack by the armies of the Death Lord. Oh, wow. If you wish to stay here and question the townspeople, turn to 107. I don't think I do. Um, well, maybe. I might as well, right? I mean... What could possibly go wrong? Just losing a week? Seven days? Uh, let's see, 107. You're qu you question the townspeople about Silvarian, uh, the great, but they know nothing. You learn nothing you don't already know. Lose one day and return to 96. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Okay, so that's two days gone. I could search up here to the north a little bit in 84. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. I know I said I need to pr protect my time and each encounter, you know, carries with it a certain amount of danger, but I mean, this is why I am playing the game. Let's see, uh, an old hermit lives high in the mountains here at Eagle Crag Pass. He once met Silvarian in the city of Ashwood. Well, that's interesting. It kind of makes me think that, yeah, I guess I'm kind of on the right path, probably. Just, just I don't know, it, it, the mention of Ashwood just kind of feel, it feels like uh, that's, uh, well, I'm metagaming, I guess. and That's kind of urging me on to my, f further on, along my path. So from East Cra e Eagle Crag, it looks like Ashwood, I would say, would be northeast. So I'm thinking page 64, which, of course, means another day passes. 64. Ooh, that's scary looking. What is that? I have no idea what that is. It looks like a, a sinkhole. Some of the illustrations are a little bit tough to, to decipher. Um, it looks scary, so let's rush right in. Let's land our skyship nearby and 
and go investigate this gash in the earth. Um, 98. This is the Blessed Shrine of the Wood Sprites. Okay, so not a scary place at all. Or maybe it is. I don't know. They might be mischievous. A place of goodness and healing. Many of the Death Lord's scouts are encamped uh, in the surrounding trees, but none dare approach the sacred shrine. You may restore three endurance for every day you s spend here. Okay, so this is another good place to go. I guess I'm going to put a little star by this, a star by Crown Guard. Uh, yeah, so that's good to know about. And I think I'll, I'll continue going northeast to 33, which means that another day has passed. All right. All right, um, looks like a bunch of woodlands and a little bit of a castle and a temple up there in the northeast of the frame. Uh, I, I'm assuming this is Ashwood, which is exactly where Silvarian told me to go. So I'm going to go to X10 to find out more. You arrive at Castle Black. Ah, the fortress stronghold of Lord Rondell of Ashwood. Perfect. To find it Oh dear. Besieged by an army of the Death Lord's goblin warriors. Well, that's too bad, because this guy, I think, was the dude who was supposed to help me. They have the fortress, uh, according to the poem. Remember, the poem said, in a, in a, in a stronghold you will find a knight uh, to help you uh, on your quest, or something like that. What, what does it say exactly? A noble knight in stronghold dark, I mean, that's got to be Castle Black, is pledged to help our kind. His gift will grant you access to a temple of the blessed. Ah, but he's being besieged. They have the fortress surrounded completely, but Rondell and his men are undaunted by their presence. Such is the confidence in, their str in the strength of their castle. Lord Rondell tells you that Silvarian visited him shortly before his death, and gave him a gold key. He presents you with this special item and a parchment on which is written a uh, the following message in Silvarian's hand. Uh, okay, so first I'm going to record that I have a gold key. That seems quite significant. Uh, so there's a gold key, and I got a message. Find the old man Kasa. He lives on the Great Plain in a village east of Vardor. He knows the door that this key will open. Record the gold key on your solo sheet. Just did that. Okay, interesting. And then go back to page uh, 33 is where I was. Yeah, right. Um, all right, so this is huge. A and appropriately so. I mean, this is exactly what Silverian told me to do. So probably should have taken this tactic, um, the strategy, much sooner than I have. But okay, that's fine. So I could go east. From here, because so I want to, I want to go east until I, or you know, and then stop right before I hit Vardor. That's that's my that's my assumption here. But there is this temple up in the north uh, east, and so far I've had pretty good luck with temples. Well, I say that. I guess I've been misled by every temple I've been in. I, I, I wasted a bunch of time because I talked to the druids, and then I went to the silver, the, the temple of the silver dragon, and got tricked into sacrificing something, if, uh, giving up a gold thing for a wish that ended up just telling me where to go next. So, I don't know, maybe I... I don't have good luck at temples. Let's let's find out. You fly straight into an ambush. Death Lord sh skyships emerge from the Vulcan Mountains. Their cannons blazing. The energy pulses engulf your craft and blow it to pieces. Your life and your in your quest ends here. That is failure number three. Okay, three for three. Um, that's fine. As is my tradition, I will I will rewind time and create an alternate timeline and from here having just learned uh, at castle black uh that i've got a gold key and that i should go east toward vardor and then right before vardor there should be a guy um the great plain in a village east of vardor so i guess i'll fly east and pretend like i never died east from here is 71 and that of course takes a day 71 there it looks like there's a town in the south a little tower on the lower left and i don't know i don't think that's supposed to be a temple but it looks like it's got a little cross on it but i don't think this fantasy world has like christianity so it's probably not a temple it's just uh the way that the drawing came out that makes me think of it of a temple anyway 25 90 and 6 who do i want to go to i am finding so far that the towns are generally okay to stop at although i was killed or some or imprisoned or something in a town way way out east on the coast where they don't like Estelonians, but um, 
The hamlet of Blackbridge is empty and deserted. The townsfolk have fled to the safety of Ludos. You search the cottages and discover a ruby ring. That's cool. Ruby ring. Uh, but I do lose a day. Wait, is this correct? Yes, it is. Okay, I forgot I was coming from 71. Okay, cool. So, that's not bad. Uh, got a ruby ring, and yeah, it seems like everyone's kind of clearing out because of the in the incursion of the Death Lord's uh, goblin army, which is kind of concerning. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna go up to this thing that's probably not a temple. Six. You seek an audience with Count Rochiart, the Lord of Castle Shieldhaven. He will see you only if you make an offering of one special item to his chapel. Oh, it is a, a, a temple. Um, if you wish to donate, if you don't... I don't know who Count Rochiart is. I feel like I've already gotten the help that I need from that one guy. Um, but I do have this spare ruby ring and a gold key. I feel like the gold key is going to be really important. So I'm not going to give that up. Um, that, that's not leaving my person. Um, so the ruby ring, though, I don't know. It doesn't seem that important. I, I've never heard of a ruby ring. I mean, it's a gem and I am looking for crystals. Yeah, okay. I'm going to I'm gonna give him the, the key. I don't think he's going to give me anything useful. But I will donate my ruby key and turn to 10108. The count tells you that Silverian hid the death. Lord's crystal in the ruins of a watchtower a few miles to the north. Um, really? Is that right? What's a few miles to the north? A few miles. I don't know how... I don't know. Um, so I'm in Ashwood, right? And he's telling me it's just a few miles to the north? I guess that could be true. This feels like a trick. It just seems so... So helpful. That seems too helpful. Now I'm suspicious of him. I need to cross my ruby ring off my list. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm going to just, I'll just, I'll just take his word for it. Go to 159, which is north. I just, I don't know about this. I feel like this is a trap. I really do. Um, well, 159. Let me mark a day off. I'm looking at 159, and it does look like there's a tower here at one, at 16, rather. I don't know what that thing at 95 is. It does not look like a watchtower to me. And I can't go any further north. So, I mean, this must be it. 16. So I'll go to X16. As soon as you land, you are set upon by a patrol of goblin warriors who storm out of the tower. Their leader... Oh, have they found the crystal already? Their leader wields a wand that counters your magic, and his soldiers are easily able to capture you and take you to the Death Lord's fortress for interrogation. You do not survive the ordeal. Your life and quest end here. So that is four failures out of three rounds. Okay, rewind time, new timeline, go to X95. It doesn't look like a watchtower to me, and uh, it says this is the fortress of the Death Lord. If you dare attempt to enter, turn to 118. I don't think I would want to do that. Um, so this guy was lying to me, in other words. This this count, who I sacrificed my ruby ring to, uh, was completely lying. And the only other clue I have is um, to go to the east towards Vardor. But I think that's technically southeast now. I think I've gone too far north. Yes, I have definitely gone too far north. So I think I want to go south once, uh, back to 71, I guess, but that's boring. So I'm going to go east first, and then I'll go south. So east is 87. That takes a day. 87. 87. There we go. Ooh, this is some scary looking stuff, but n none of this looks like a village to me. So I'm going to keep going east, I think. Or should I go south now? I guess I should probably go south and start looking for villages. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. So 192 is what I'm going to go to next. 192. Okay, I mean, you know, I, I'm in a skyship. I may as well not land. I can just skip over dangers. So 192, that's going to take another day. I think I might have already messed up my days again, but anyway. Um, hmm, this looks like a great plane. That doesn't look like a village to me, though. The, the tip was to uh, find the old man in Casa. He, no, the old man Casa. He, he lives on the Great Plain in a village east of Vardur, and I think I'm east of Vardur now. 
Well, I mean, I am definitely east of Vardur. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like, in fact, it even says Great Calcor Plain. Yeah, this might be the place. So 96 and 80. So let's go to 96 first because that's that looks like a village. Well, it doesn't look like a village, but it looks more like a village than a big empty plain. The druids that live here in the caves beneath the forest shrine remember Silvarian. Uh, he stayed with them for one day and then journeyed to the forest of Daggerwood. Well, we've been there in previous playthroughs. Um, to find that, to return to your quest, go back to 192. Okay, okay. So there's druids trying to send me over to Daggerwood, but I don't think, I don't think I trust druids, to be honest. Let's look at 80. Let's find out what that is. Looks like a big empty field to me. As you land in the city square of Ludos, no wait, I'm in the wrong, oop, I'm sure in the wrong place. Okay, 80. You encounter a Deathlord skyship above the great plain of Calcor. In the ensuing battle, you lose four endurance before shooting it out of the sky. Cool. Okay, so that was exciting. Uh, so I had 30, so now I'm down to 26. I guess I'll just keep going east. Uh, this one to 129. So one from, from 192 to 129. And that, of course, expends one day, so I'm down to... Uh, I'm, I've used up 10 days now total, which is a week in some fantasy worlds. Uh, 129. Okay, there's another... Stupid temple. Um, and something off there to the north. I don't trust the temple, to be frank. I really don't. I've had really bad luck with temples. They keep trying to steer me to the wrong place. I'm going to go to 38, which looks suspiciously like a mountain. And I've not had great luck with mountains either. But might as well try it. You encounter a flock of giant vultures, which attack your craft. You lose three endurance and are forced to land to repair damage. Lose three days. Wow. Ouch. So that's one, two, three. I was just thinking that I hadn't lost days in a while, too. Uh, so that's I'm down to 23 endurance now. That's 129. Um, should I go to that stupid temple? I just feel like they're going to just try to tell me. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I mean, I don't have to listen to them. You know? 47. This is the holy ground of Thark, an ancient druidic place of worship. Here you discover the remnants of an army in, uh, of an army encampment encampment, and in the ashes of a campfire a char a charred parchment. You can make out a few words. The wizard went to Daggerwood. Find what was stolen. Your life if you fail. Okay, so interesting. It really does seem like I'm supposed to go back to Daggerwood, but based on previous playthroughs, that hasn't really served me all that well. But anyway, Daggerwood is to the east, so I may as well keep going, because that's, that's the direction I'm headed in anyway. So that's 247. 247. And 247, uh, oh yeah, and that uses up a day. That's what I was trying to get to. All right, uh, it looks like there's a... That could be a watchtower of sorts. Looks like a skyship landing tower to me with those little sort of areas that kind of jut out from the side. Those look like landing pods to me or landing bays. And then there's this town. I, is that Valdor? If, if it's Valdor, I, I feel like I must have gone too far because I'm not supposed to hit Valdor. I'm supposed to hit a village east of Valdor. Yeah, this is Valdor. Here in the city of Valdor, of Vardor, you discover that Silverian was murdered within an hour of his arrival. Wow. He entered the city on foot, weary and battered as if he had met with an accident. The citizens seem nervous and refuse to tell you more about his death. Highly, highly suspicious. There is this big tower, so I might as well check it out. 6-7. Uh, I'm really looking for a village to the east, but I don't know. This does not look like a village to me, but it could be a watchtower. High above the Tower of the Sky Lords. Oh, that's cool. You encounter your rival, the Emerald Enchanter. If you choose to resolve this encounter by playing a Combat Heroes two-player game, turn to X126. Well, I don't. Uh, if no opponent is available, resolve the encounter by turning to X124. Oh, boy, okay. 124. What, what is in store for me here? A desperate aerial battle ensues in which you lose four endurance before losing sight of your opponent. Adjust your solo sheet and turn back to 247. Okay, so that was four endurance, so I'm back down to 19. This is all familiar territory. Um, so, I don't know, I feel like I've gone too far east, but I was just, I was just, maybe, maybe you know, I skipped over, I did skip over part of the pl Great Plains. Remember, I'd gone, like, really, really north. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Hmm. 
Yeah, maybe. Okay. So I'll go east again, back to 129, and then from there, so that's one day. Did I ever go to this temple that I was avoiding? I don't think I did. Or no, I did. I did, because there was a campfire there, and I saw, I found that charred parchment telling me to go to Daggerwood. I, I just feel like I need to follow this up, though, because I'm just not convinced. You know, I've been, I've been following Silverian's advice. He sent me to the knight who sent me here, or, you know, to the east, east of Vardor. Uh, Valdor, Val Vardor, whatever it is. All right, so I'm going to go e uh, west again to 192. I've been there before, so I don't anticipate any great revelation there. That uses up a day. I think I might be off a day again. Um, and then I'll go west again to 71. I've been to 71. And then I'll go west again to 33. That's another day. Um... I've been to 33. Now I'm starting to doubt my... Yeah, I must have... Yeah, now I'm back in Ashwood, aren't I? Yep, that's exactly where I am, I think. Hmm. A village east. Oh my gosh, east. East of Vardor. Uh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Uh, I, I, I was thinking I was going east. Yeah, from Vardor. So I'm, I'm, I have to go past Vardor. That's embarrassing. Okay. Um... Ugh. So 33, back to 71, that's another day. Back to, uh, 71, 33. So, and then one, 192, and then 129, and then back to 247. Okay, 247. 247, here we go. That's Vardor. So I need to can keep going east to 222. Here we go. I mean, I guess. I don't... Anyway, 222. I don't know what's in store for me now. So I've got, um... I got mountains. I got forest. And I've got a, a village. That's gotta be the village where the old man is. That's where old man Casa is. So that'll be seven. Next seven. As soon as you set foot in this town, you are arrested and thrown into jail. You manage to escape and reach your skyship, but you lose four valuable days. Wow. Okay. That's one, two, three, four. That was not expected. Um, I guess I'll wander up to 44 then, because there does look like there's a structure there. Uh, maybe there's, uh, maybe the old man Casa lives there in a casa. 44. You encounter a group of monks praying at a small shrine. They are from the northern Calcor, from, from northern Calcor, and have been driven out of their monastery by soldiers of the Death Lord. One of them tells you that Silvarian was killed in the city of Vardor. I'm aware of that. I guess I'll go to nine, although that looks like mountains to me, and I have horrible luck in mountains. Bad weather forces you to make an emergency landing here in the Starbane Mountains. Lose two days. Yep, that's, that's, that's about right for me. Okay, so that was 222, and um, that wasn't very useful. So I, th I think I'll go to 113, uh, which is further east of here, just because, I mean, they didn't say it's the first village to the east of Vardor. They just said it's to the east of Vardor. Oh, and here is another. Well, it doesn't look like a village. Oh, wait, I've been here before. I mean, in another timeline. Um Number four is a town where they, I think they kill me or something, but 72, let's look at 72. In the grand city, in the grand city port of Elephon, you hear that Silverian is rumored to have been murdered in the city of Vardor. Lose one day. Boy, they, am I supposed to go to Vardor? I've been to Vardor, haven't I? Yeah, I went to Vardor. So I'm feeling a little lost because I feel like I've, in, I've followed everyone's instructions or the, the knight's instructions and I don't see where I'm supposed to be taking the silver key. So I could either go south to 51. Let's see what's south of here on the world map um south of elephon is spider lake hmm don't know if that really does anything for me uh to the southwest though should be daggerwood so let's go to daggerwood to 29 and mark a day off of course because that takes a day of travel there we go so i've only got uh, unless my calculations are off which they may be uh, i've only got about 10 days left all right so there's 61 and one. One looks like a forest. 61 looks like a town. I feel like maybe I've been here before. I could be wrong, but um, let's look, let's look at 61 first. I like to start at the towns. 
Yeah, yeah, this is Stone Plow. So I've I've been here in a previous timeline. On the outskirts of the village of Stone Plow, you meet an old tinker pushing a handcart full of wares. He offers you a trinket on a golden chain shaped in the likeness of a wishbone. If you wish to accept the trinket, mark it on your solo sheet. I will accept that. So I've got a wishbone now. Don't know if that's going to be useful. And maybe I'll go down, uh, maybe I'll go further east from here to 199. Not east, west. West to 199. Let's try that. Okay, this is interesting. This is new. It, it looks vaguely, um, I guess, religious. Oh, wait, day. Mark a day. 79 or 49. It looks like a road, 49. But 79 is some kind of temple, maybe? I don't know. Let's look. 79. I think everything is a temple in this game. Uh, 79 here at the Temple of the Wood Sprites. Oh, I've been here before, I think. No, no, I have not. You discover the wreckage of Silvarian's skyship. There is no sign of his body, uh, but there is evidence that the craft has already been discovered and searched. The front of the skyship is buried deep in the earth and points toward the west. Interesting. Okay, to the west. Well, that I can do. Uh, do I want to investigate 49? I only have 10 days. Nope, nine days. I think I'm just going to keep going west. 83. Because at this point, I mean, this I have to find this thing n now. Because I am I'm very low on days. So here's 83. Did I mark my... Yeah, I did. Now I have. Marked my um, marked my page. Or my, my day, rather. 83. Uh, there's a little town there, it looks like. Don't know who it's going to be or what's going to be there, but might as well check it out. This is the hamlet of Flatfield. All that remains of the tiny village are soot-blackened ruins of cottages and farmhouses. The Death Lord's armies have laid all to waste, and the place is now deserted. If you wish to search the ruins, turn to 101. Yeah, I think I will search. I found that ruby ring by searching through a deserted village, so why not? You discover an old man hiding in the cellar of a burnt-out tavern. He says his name is Casa. Finally, I found him, and he uh, fears that he is the only survivor of the attack. If you have a gold key and wish to show it to the old man, uh, turn to 115. I do have a gold key. I was told to find this guy by the, the knight who um, Silverian sent me to, so I don't feel like he's going to, like, trick me. I feel like this guy's kind of safe. So I'm going to go 115. His eyes light up when he sees the gold key. He tells you he was a friend of Silvarian the Great and that this key unlocks the door to the Temple of the Sun Druids. Okay. The temple is in Arnia, close to the west side of Daggerwood. The west side of Daggerwood. Okay. I know where Daggerwood is. And he's he's saying that on the west or my left side of Daggerwood, there's a place called Arnia, Arnia, which I've heard of. I mean, th that was in the intro. Um, but I and and so he's saying it's in the Sun Druid Temple. Okay, so I need to go from here. Uh, I need to go east in order to get to because he said the west edge of Daggerwood. So I feel like feel like it should be you know pretty close to Daggerwood. It shouldn't I, I shouldn't have to go too far west, right? Um. Arnia. I don't see that on the map. I'm just... that That's causing me pause that I wouldn't see. Oh, oh, Arnia is the big... Okay, I see. It's the huge... It's it's right there, spelled out, Arnia. That's the region. It's not like a town or something. Um. Okay, on the west edge, right? That's what he said? The west edge? Go back to 115 and look. Um. Unlocks the door to the Temple of the Sun Druids. The temple is in Arnia. Arnia, close to the west side of Daggerwood. The west side, so that's the left side. Yeah, so I guess I'll go back to 199, spending a day of that. Um, and then I'll go f further w uh, east to 29. I feel like I'm, I'm definitely backtracking at this point. Uh, and that's another day. I've only got like six days left. Um, I'll keep going east. Because I don't think this is Daggerwood. No, that's not Daggerwood. Surely that's not Daggerwood. Is this Daggerwood? <sighs> I, I've got to get out and check. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out and check. I mean, it doesn't cost me, but it, it is a risk. They they could be a bunch of mean people here. Um, I don't really see how it could be Daggerwood. Because I, I think... But it could be. It could be Daggerwood with Daggerwood Forest 
to the south. Does that check out on the world map? Oh, there is no Daggerwood Forest. I'm just making that up. Okay. Um, yeah, my problem is I just don't know. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna have to get out and ask where I am. Ask for directions. On the outskirts of the village of Stone Plow, you meet an old tinker. Oh, okay, that's where I, that's where I got the, the thing. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll keep going east in hopes of running into uh, Daggerwood, I guess. So that takes another day. I've got five days left. Oh, this is so stressful. Okay, 56 and 63. And I'm really close to the, the lake now, or the ocean, rather. That's not just a lake, I don't think. I think that's the ocean. Um, so I feel like I've gone too far, to be perfectly honest. I think this is, is this Torsh? Yeah, I think this is Torsh. Well, let's get out and check 56, because um, quite possibly, if this is Torsh, I'll, I'll at least be able to... Um, figure out where I am. The inhabitants of Sp Spiderton refuse to help you lose one day. Okay, well, like I said, at least I know where I am now. So if that's... So I'm in the Spider Lake region, I think. Um, near the Spider River or something. Yeah, and I think the town maybe to the north. Could it be Elephant? I don't think it is. So I, I, I feel like I, I'm going south now to, to towards Dagger Wood. Yeah. So that's 12. Going back to... Or going down to 12. Um, and I lose a day for that, of course. Uh, looking at this map, though, I, I don't know that... Because, I mean, Daggerwood is not on the shore. It's not... It isn't a port city. I think that... Maybe that's Torsh. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. I feel lost. Maybe it's 48. Let me go to 48 and look around. The Towers of Rushberry is run by a guild of craftsmen. They marvel at the construction of your skyship and offer to help in return for uh, being allowed to study your craft. If I agree, turn to 127. Um, if I decide to leave, just keep going. Um, I don't believe they're going to be able to help me, so I'm just going to keep going. And I think the place I'm going to go to now is west, because that's the only option I have, to 242. And I'm just really hoping that I run into Daggerwood. I don't know why it's being so elusive. I'm, I have to confess, I'm a little bit surprised that it is. Um, but there we go. That's another day. I have literally two days now to find this this place. So here I've got a temple up in the northeast corner and a little village or town uh, sort of in the center. So I'm going to go to the temple first because I am looking for a sun druid temple after all. So that would be great if this was it. Although this doesn't particularly look like a um, druidic sun temple to me. Uh, let's see. Close to a bend in the Black Bark River is a circle of standing stones. At their center stands a small granite tomb, which marks the entrance of a temple of the sun druids. Perfect. A great metal door plain except for a keyhole stands before you if you have a silver key and wish to use it if you have a gold key i do i have a gold key i wish to use it 112 uh yes please i will go to 112 oh my gosh i hope this is what i think is the key fits you unlock the great metal door and enter the temple of the sun druids Turn to page 220. Um, i'm assuming i don't know if i do i lose a day for this because i am going to a new page but i'm not flying there i've been instructed to go there well, well let's just turn to oh wow okay that looks like a power crystal to me before you lies the power crystal the energy force of the death lord by discovering this gem of power you have secured the destruction of the death lord's dominion over thrasia your quest is over victory is yours all right so on day 39 of my f one, two, three, four, fourth, f fourth timeline, <laughs> fourth branched timeline, uh, I have finally succeeded and beat the uh, Scarlet Sorcerer game. As you can see, it, this is a, a lot of fun. As you could also probably tell, I didn't cover all the points on the map. If I wanted to go again and try to get to this point in a different way, I could. I happen to know that there are is a different way because I've played this before. Um, but I mean, it's it's shocking how many different avenues you can end up taking to either victory or defeat. It's a lot of fun, well worth playing. And this is just one of them. As I've said in the in the intro, like the very first um, 
video of of this there's combat heroes uh emerald enchanter the the, the other side of this um and then with with different encounters obviously uh, obviously for the solo game so you could you'll be flying around the same map you'll be competing against scarlet sorcerer but all the encounters will be different and then of course there's the other combat hero books there's black baron and white warlord uh, where you're not flying around in ships at all you're going through um a a maze a, a labyrinth trying to hunt each other down uh, although there is a solo version of that as well so lots of fun Highly recommended. Joe Dever is just an amazing, amazing game designer. I love uh, the Combat Hero books, and I, I love the Lone Wolf series. Got several of, of each of those. Can't recommend that enough. Thanks for watching.